Today on Toy Shiz, the turtles are off world and we have a Technodrome to build. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are totally checking out the brand new NECA Toys Target exclusive TMNT cartoon, the Colossal Chrome Dome figure. Chrome Dome thing robot guy that Krang and Shredder built in the Planet of the Turtleoids episode. Gorgeous box art on this. They're just killing it. You got the fifth turtle right there with Casey Jones. And if you want to go ahead and screen grab this, it's an excellent recap for old Chrome Dome. Go ahead and open up the box and you get a really nice photo of said figure and you get to see the figure itself with all the different accessories. And this guy's got a lot. On the bottom of the packaging is everyone involved with the creation of this figure. You might see a lot of recognizable names. Thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode as well. These are starting to hit Target store shelves now. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot colossal cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Target exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Colossal Chrome Dome by NECA Toys. And of course, here's the non-chrome chrome dome out of the packaging, and he looks fantastic. This is a really big figure, tons of accessories, and just really a standout figure amidst all the other prior TMNT NECA figures. But he comes with this really cool computer that looks like the old computer I used to use way back in the day at computer class in school. It's very cool. It kind of resembles the one from the episode it might be the one that zach used to hack chrome dome's brain i'm not too sure on that you get a lot of different hands options for this guy so very cool i especially love the fingers on this very squared off very animated looking and then of course you have various gun holding hands the weapon holding hands fisted hands all that kind of stuff each one form fitted to work well and you get this really cool blaster which he can hold on the side of his belt this thing is very cool. The sculpt alone, the paint alone, it's very much just a really nicely designed weapon. Very futuristic sci-fi. I will tell you this though, you're going to want to heat up the hands that are specifically designed to hold the gun. They will not open on their own. They're very much a hard, hard plastic. So to get the gun in the gun holding hand, you're going to want to heat it up most definitely. And I will tell you right here on his belt where the gun clips on, it's starting to wither away at the paint. Unfortunately, you know how I am with that. That's a bummer. Just keep an eye out for that. On these swords, they're, again, just like the gun, really well done, very well painted. They go in the sheaths. One's big, one's small, but both of them can be held Really nicely by old Chrome Dome here, who has a fantastic animated, cell shaded look to him. This guy really pops in every sense, from the blues to the reds to all the nuts and the bolts. His belt right here, which is a separate piece to his belt underneath, but he has plenty of weapon storage. Just the various cell shaded looks with the paint is so cool, and it really stands out amidst the black of the figure itself. On the back side, that's the only part I could have used just a little bit more cell shading. However, on the sides, you kind of see it. On the back of the head, you see it. It doesn't really detract, although it would have been just nice to have, I'll just say. And as I've said, he is now the largest TMNT figure for the Target cartoon line. The head gets some decent articulation out of it. He will look down to the sides. He won't go back as much because of his large chrome dome, right? <laughs> his arms are fairly mobile, I will just say. It's a little bit stuck here and there. This is one of those figures I would highly recommend heating up, especially to go over it in the biceps. Mine barely move. He does have double jointed elbows, just go easy on them. The wrists will swivel and rock, just depends on which hand you're using, but as you can see, they move pretty well. The waist, the upper diaphragm rotation, he actually gets a good amount of ab crunch out of him. He will spin at the upper diaphragm, and then he will also spin at the waist as well. So nice articulation there. The legs will kick out, no probs whatsoever. He does not have any thigh swivel, as you can see, but he'll kick out, he'll kick off to the sides, and he does have double-jointed knees. No problems there. Those are actually pretty mobile, nothing to heat up, I would say, but go easy on yours. Nothing right here. I totally thought that was a mid-calf, you know what I mean? And he does have articulation in the feet, 
He will rock, he'll go up and down. He does have toe articulation as well, but oddly enough, yeah, heat those up because they are not budging in either sense. And he does have peg holes on the bottom of his feet, but yeah, they just don't want to move. Now with a few exceptions in the articulation with heating him up for my usage, for my taste, he's going to sit on my shelf. Well, he works pretty dang good and he photographs beautifully. This is a massive hulking robot and he's just so dang cool. That animated look just comes forth so great in this sculpt and he holds all of his weapons you know you get a lot of cool poses out of this guy especially teaming him up with his foot clan soldier battalion <laughs> speaking of which you see the scaling to this guy he's huge even larger type characters like muckman yeah he is going to dwarf them and for those of you animated fans we're just a few characters away from doing the full-on Night of the Rogues. We still need Tempestra, which they've not said is coming, but fingers crossed. But we do have Antrax and then Scumbug on their way coming soon. And as far as the creators of Chrome Dome, yeah, he's a heck of a lot taller than Krang, which of course was the previously tallest figure for the TMNT animated line. But regardless of who you have on your shelf, turtles, frogs, he's going to tower over them. And if you were wondering, as far as Super 7, DC Direct, heck, even the old Playmates toys, yes, incredibly tall. But honestly, I'd say for the most part, if you're interested in adding this character to any of your TMNT lines, I think he'd fit in quite nicely. And just as far as the old-fashioned Chrome Dome figure goes, from my original collection, yeah, he's still there, and he's still as chromey as ever. Now, for those of you going, oh, wait a minute, his name's Chrome Dome. Where's the chrome on this guy? The cartoon, it was different. He wasn't a chrome dome. He was this white, gray, sort of cell shaded look, as opposed to the Playmates Toys figure, which was incredibly chromed out. And I remember getting this guy. I got him from Target. I always remember his big chromed out wings. I have a few weapons left, so that's good. And I have his blue belt, which is even better. And yes, I'm sure one of these days I'll go back and get his old weapons. But from the old one to the new one to the old one, this is a very cool Chrome Dome in either sense, and I highly recommend him. Yeah, but this new one, yeah, I mean, it's aces as well. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the colossal Chrome Dome Target exclusive. A gorgeous figure, a huge commanding bulk of a toy i will tell you that lots of interchangeable hands a really cool old-fashioned computer that's straight from the show and multiple weapons for him that all have weapon storage on his belt i lucked out on mine he's got a great paint job i have heard that yes if you get to go through a few of them on the shelf make sure you get the best looking one make sure you watch out for some paint rub here and there don't worry about the hands they do paint the joints so when you swap them out you'll see some black paint fleckage here and there but it won't affect the hands themselves from what you can actually see when displaying your figure this guy definitely needs some joints heated up i recommend that all day don't force anything don't push anything you don't want to snap anything so just go really easy on him He's a great display. That's what I use him for. He goes great with all my other Ninja Turtles on my shelf. So I love him. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this new Ninja Turtles figure. Will you be grabbing him? Have you already? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Chrome Dome. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember now I'm just waiting for the inevitable repaint of this guy. Warrior Chrome Dome. Maybe a nice green finish. Or heck, even put him in the video game Tournament Fighters line. Wouldn't mind that at all. In either case, he will go nicely with those new paint jobs if they were to go that route. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.